is that the House do now adjourn. All of those in favour? I, I call the Honourable the Member for Chifley. Uh, Madam Speaker, I rise to object to an offensive and disgraceful set of comments uttered by the Treasurer in this place yesterday uh, and demand a unreserved apology from him. Uh, I, the member for Morton, the member for Wakefield, uh, were members of a joint parliamentary inquiry that investigated the tragedy at Christmas Island in December 2010. I can confidently speak for the three of us that that incident left in us a deep impression and a fierce determination to ensure that we took steps uh, as a group uh, within this parliament to ensure that there wasn't a repetition of what we saw at Christmas Island. The footage of, what we, of the uh, naval personnel trying to drag people out of those waters, the faces of the first responders and medical uh, practitioners who uh, sought to assist, the horrific tales we saw all uh, left their mark and in one, many respects scars on us, which is why in the last parliament I, we, uh, actually uh, spoke so strongly on taking strong steps to prevent this from reoccurring and why we probably strained friendships because we supported policies that were very uh, in some words, or some views, harsh. But many of us couldn't countenance the memories of those people and the last moments that they had in those waters off our nation. And we argued for an arrangement with the Malaysian government to deny uh, people smugglers the ability to ply, to ply their terrible trade. And we saw early success with intel showing that people were turning up to people smugglers demanding money back, and they also saw drops in the number of, uh, of arrivals that were seeking this path to get here. But the High Court knocked back that agreement, and I just want to reflect on some comments made by uh, our shadow uh, immigration spokesperson at the National Press Club recently, where he said, at this point, um, the, uh, with the decision of the High Court, this proposition was put squarely in the hands of the parliament, and it is at this point that the coalition's approach to dealing with the question of asylum seeker policy unravels as nothing but political opportunism. And in following in the strict order of obstructionism, Scott Morrison, the member for Cook, denied Labor cooperation at every turn, and he ran a joint ticket with the Greens to bring down the Malaysia arrangement. Now, we had in this place the Treasurer stand up, I remember him in 2012, stand up and say, I will never ever support a people swap where you can send a 13-year-old child unaccompanied to a country without supervision. And he said, never, it will be over my dead body. This from a senior member of a government that's current, uh, currently contemplating doing the same thing in an agreement with the Cambodian government. And he can say that. And what was the aftermath, uh, Madam Speaker? 689 people lost their lives at sea as a result of the Malaysian agreement being stopped. And, that, and on top of that, the coalition went on to break another deal they made with the Greens when they blocked the Malaysian agreement, cutting the humanitarian intake the minute they came into office. So imagine our disgust yesterday when we see in the parliament um, the Treasurer make this following statement. But most of all, as a result of the actions of this government, there are no children floating in the ocean between Australia and East Timor, as occurred under Labor. How does he rationalise that with his decision to block the Malaysian agreement and then put politics above the needs of the nation and people? And at a personal level, I had a deep regard for the Treasurer, but he pretty much shredded that yesterday with those comments in parliament. Now, we finally got a refugee resettlement agreement with the Papua New Guinea government that has comprehensively crippled the uh, people smugglers' business. And you can keep all your orange boats and think that that stopped the trade, but it hasn't. It was the refugee resettlement agreement, agreement that did it. But we will not sit quiet. The Treasurer can drag his sorry self back into this parliament and, and apologise, but not to us. He shouldn't apologise to us. He should apologise to the 689 people who lost their lives because we couldn't get the type of agreement that we eventually got with the Papua New Guinea government with Malaysia. And if he thinks we'll forget, it'll be over, to use his words, my dead body.